What's up guys and welcome to episode 7. This week we'll be focusing on some salon contemporary styles and on my model we're going to be looking at a classic slick back with a very subtle taper. Trying to showcase how something as technical as that can be done in a very sufficient time in a busy salon. And joining me this week I have guest educator Mr Adam Heron. And today with my model we demonstrate a very classic side parting with a mid skin fed. Something very smart and something we'd see every day if not every week in the salon. We concentrate more on a haircut that would have been in quite recently so we wouldn't need to do as much work on top such as a restyle. So I just demonstrated how you'd approach something that would have been in quite recently. Fantastic. So guys don't forget to like and subscribe. Any question leave them in the comments. Check what I've done to make sure there's no corners in it as such. Make sure I have a lovely little round line coming in. Okay, any little bits that are sticking out, guys, I'm just going to cross check them, take them on out. Once again, the long and short piece from the back, bring it on up. Nothing really to come off there. It's your talk, and again, same thing, make that decision in the salon. Pressure's on, clients waiting, phones going, phones hopping. What do they need to do? No, I'll probably leave this to be fair. Dry a point out of foam. Okay, I have a low heat on this hair dryer and it's at full speed. Reason is because I'm not looking to style it just yet, so I'm going to get it dry. Nice little bit of point cutting here. This point cutting that line a touch here. So we lift up the section quite naturally. If I come in at an angle and start cutting a bunch of little triangles, unfortunately I've created a different shape there. The shape has changed. So all I'm looking to do is basically lift up the section as opposed to an angle, the scissors come parallel and all I'm doing is literally, the bottom blade is resting on the finger and I'm just opening and closing the top blade just to literally dust off that line there. So I kind of freeze it like a little paintbrush, yeah? Just after I dried it there, I scissor over comb because I didn't do any graduation work because the hair was so short. So I just literally scissor over combed and softened the graduation just so that the two and a half could run up into the graduation. Clear out the little canvas guys, just really clear that out. I'm gonna close it now. Okay, close it. Spend a little minute guys making sure the one is completely in. In at the point five. Zero.
guys again little tapering out the back very very dense here so I'm going to go in with the one open first of all come right up to where the number two was okay one closed okay point five okay and zero okay let's go back in again just to refine everything Okay, now a little transition into the top to soften the line. graduate the sides diamond section at the top more horizontal sections yeah as to build more waist reason is medium to fine hair yeah and a very slim narrow head shape yeah more weapon built in the sides give me a guide from my top but we looked we analyzed we thought about it we decided the top was fine didn't need to be cut again a useful tip in the salon does the top need to be cut does it need to be graduated do I need to do all the work the answer not always is yes yeah not always there wasn't much to do with it on top it was still quite short, so we just chipped into it and loosened it all up. There was a lot of weight kind of on this side with the parting. Um, I just combed, me, combed through it and I was seeing where all the weight was, just chipping into it. And then I was scissor over combing the graduation, as opposed to doing the graduation again, just softening it so that the two and a half would run up straight into it. Just saving time as well, because the hair is short enough, you wouldn't need to be doing the graduation again. Then when that was all done, the two and a half ran straight up into it. We put the zero line just underneath the temple. So we done like mid fade and just guard skipped. So we put in our 0.5 and then the two was here. So we just went one open, one closed, 0.5 and then we knocked out that zero line. We kept the foil shaver as well, just one finger beneath the actual zero line. There's no need to bring it high up to the line because you're just going to create another line and you won't be able to knock it out then. 